Go. Corner means corner. All right, start with the ball. Rousey. All right, Rousey, I've known you for three years. I don't know your first name. What's your first name? Anthony. Anthony. I'll call you that from here on in, my friend. All right? So Rousey's got the ball. <laughs> so Rousey's going to throw it. And now, you're going to go through the same thing. Get good boy. Bent arm, hand above the ball. All right, raise it above your... Stick it. Rip it now. All right? On the second one, you've got one dribble to make it pass. You'll come and go. Right? Now, after that, you just come back high, all right? And you be cognizant with the balls. So, rehearsal, bang, rehearsal, pitch it, wait, cut, two on two line, two on two line. Okay, you can see that in its entirety. Now, we start, and we're not going to worry about the offense, but one thing when you're drilling and teaching defense, you've got to throw them a bone. If it's all this rehearsal stuff, it's all this structure stuff, it's not much fun for players, alright? So at some stage you have to let them play. Now, let the play doesn't mean we just go five on five and say, oh, well, you know, we've got to get this. But you've got to give them an opportunity to play. And what I would do, if I'm really focusing on the defense, I wouldn't coach the offense much. All right? And that sounds funny, because we talk a lot of way about two-way teaching. But you can't have great detail and be demanding on the defense, and they've got all this information and then on offense, oh, by the way, on offense, do this, 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 and this. Too. That's not fair. So we've built up through a defensive thing. Now I've gone to two on two. I'm just going to let them play. And this is where you've got to be comfortable with the mess. If they do something crazy, look away. Go and coach someone else. If they do something crazy two times, say, hey, Joel, that's crazy. If they do it three times, like that, one on three, come over to me. Right? And then you can intervene. But when you're coaching defense, right, there's so, you're so demanding on it, sometimes you've got to let the offense be a bit more fluid. Alright, so one more time and we'll go that side. No, 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 no. See, young men in a hurry. Alright? Do things in sequence. Good. Do things in sequence. Good. Good. See, that was me not being comfortable with the mess. When I said, Aye! Right, that's coach speak for Anthony, do not throw that perimeter to perimeter bounce pass. Right? Made me feel better. He didn't have a clue what I was talking about, but now we've got a good relationship, we're moving on. Alright? Now, if you guys think that you can do it at the same time, do it at the same time. Hint, hint. Do it at the same time. Go. <laughs> I mean, if, if that's the biggest criticism, you're in pretty good shape, aren't you? They're two ones selfish. All right. All right. To prove my point, not prove my point, but to, to consolidate my point. How's the offense? Good, bad, and different. Not bad. Yeah, no, I think, yeah, I agree. It's, it's good. Creative passes, there was like that hook pass, and there was a little drop pass, and it's good cutting, and everyone's moving. And that's the advantage of being comfortable with the mess. 
we've really defined the defence. We didn't really speak much about the offence, but because of that, we've freed their mind and they can play with a bit of freeness. And I think that's really important. So if you, every drill that's competitive has got offence and defence, of course, but usually you've got a focus or a priority. So this is, a, for me, this would be a defensive drill where we're really working on hand positioning, ball pressure, foot pattern, movement, gap, stick, all those things. So I'm going to coach the heck out of that. Now I'm going to be cognizant of the offense, and I don't want them to be wacky, you know, wacky races, right? The kids are like, what's the wacky races, right? Um, but I also don't want to go do this, do, you know, like, it's like, okay, what's our points of emphasis? And you know, we've been to those meetings at work. All right, here's our mission statement. We are going to do this, 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 at an elite level, go. There's no way, right? So pick what's important, and again, the power of three. Pick the three most important things for that drill setting, and be ruthless dictators with those, then everything else, within reason, be comfortable with the mess. All right, now, shell drill. A couple ways that we can teach shell drill, 